This is just a, a weekend project. Um, I downloaded the average weather data for weather stations around the world. I think there was, yeah, 72,000. Um, and then I averaged out each month. And I thought it would be cool with Meteor just to be able to query on the front end with Minimongo. So it's about 1.5 megs of weather data, so it takes a while to come down. But once it's there, then you have your months and your ideal temperature range, and then you can kind of see which stations match the uh, criteria through the year. Um, right now I'm limiting it to large cities, you can kind of change it, but I limit the rendering to 250 points because when you try to draw all of them, it takes forever. So there's, there's all of them. Uh, as you can see, every time I click it takes a while, but these are all the weather stations that met that, that kind of request. Um, I also note the um, bounding box of the map box, so it's only querying within this range as you zoom in. But uh, yeah, it was just a fun little, fun little project. So the next step I want to do with this is using aviation data. So this is monthly average temperature. So if it's really hot in the daytime and really cold at night, it's not really the same if you're looking for, oh, what's the high temperature in Singapore in June, right? So I want to get average high, average low, and then also precipitation data, which I believe the aviation data sets will also include. But my hardest, the biggest thing with this is clean data for all around the world. I could find nice US data sets, I could find nice German data sets, but stuff that's all around the world that will easily mesh together was kind of difficult. But I think airports will have that. But yeah, just a fun little project. Um, yeah? So Any, do you, yeah? you re-query depending on the, what's in the view of the map? Well? Yeah, so I, I used the, uh, I think I ended up using the Mongo Geo feature. So Mongo supports geo points and geo querying. You could like search by a circle or a square or a polygon, things like that. But um, the Meteor support, like mini Mongo querying for geo is kind of strange or wasn't working or something. So you could actually just query, you know, less than, greater than, uh, lat and long, and that worked. So. Uh, so Jeff, do you have to do that? Yes, I had to uh, kind of, it was all CSV files and tab files, so I used just a simple script to clean it all up and then plug it into the Mongo database on the back end. So that's what gets pulled down every time. But it's up, it's on wengo.io, it's live if you want to play around with it. But uh, yeah, I had to kind of clean out the junk um, there's also, oh, I guess I forgot about this part, but uh, I have the yearly average when you click each one, but the uh, station names are sometimes very odd. So I think one's called Batman and things like that. So I don't, I don't know exactly who's running the show, but it's, it's an official data set from uh, one of the Gov websites, but yeah, the, the temperatures are just off. I mean, they're, they're accurate, but being an average of the whole month, it's not really a good view. But yeah, any other questions? So is the, the performance you said is quite a lot better? To it's to really bad. Uh, Meteor kind of chokes when you're trying to force a meg and a half of weather data into it, but it works. It, it's not failing on me. Um, once I restrict, I think the biggest thing was also drawing on the map, like drawing 5,000 points on a map as you scroll a scroller was kind of hard. So that limiting it helped a lot. But um, doing, so I have a batch script that goes through a raw JSON file and stuffs it into Mongo. So every time I would clean up the data a little bit, change the, the base data set file, I'd clear the database and put it back in and that 
took quite a while, like multiple minutes. Um, so you're not do, you're using the oplog uh, <coughs> performance technique or the MongoDB, uh, you do things with the oplog you can improve performance. As far as querying or? So when I insert, I only do it on the server side, because right. like, it's just a, at those command scripts you can create. Yeah, because I think with the op-block, is it the op-block table where you uh, replicate a uh, replication server? Yeah, it's, it's that's usually how secondaries work, op-logs. But reading, I don't think, is but the can, issue. You use the technique for review of performance, right? I mean, I reading... I think if there's a lot of data changing, maybe. Mm -hmm. Like if there's constantly stuff being pulled. Yeah, it's, yeah maybe it doesn't apply so much if it's static. The one thing, like, as you know, it's the loading bar, you know, across as it's going. I think server-side rendering might speed it up a lot because the, the overhead to having Manga or Meteor handle all of that right. syncing might be a lot higher than if I let the server return a meg and a half of blob data in the source, but I just have to make sure it doesn't try to then sync it back to the back end. But yeah, there's a few little little tweaks. Maybe. Yeah, with the new uh, Wireshark. Wired, Wired Tiger, yeah. Is that are people using that in production yet? I think it's safe. I think it's, uh, it's not, yeah, I think it's supported in Meteor Blob. Sure, if it's like uh, rolled out to like the the uh, like the modulus and uh, those guys. Yeah. I'm friends with the uh, compose guys. I think they're gonna yeah. keep away from it for a little while, Already? just to make sure you know, battle tested. But uh, cool. Thanks. Thank you.